food is earthy and it's substantial. So it can help you get grounded. It can make you less spacey and ethereal. It can reduce a sense of detachment, dissociation, or feeling very tenuous. And instead, it can help you be more substantial, more steadfast, more actualized. Food can increase stability. It can also increase instability, right? Think of the difference between comfort food and a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee is going to stimulate and get you moving, but comfort food is going to stabilize you. Especially home-cooked meals made with love and heavy ingredients. Right? Why, why is the best kind of comfort food uh, or the most substantial or stabilizing kind of comfort food a home-cooked meal? Because home is a place of familiarity. Uh, hopefully, home is a safe place and where you can relax and that there's love in your home uh, that increases connection and bonding. And all of that is very stabilizing and substantial um, uh, helps you commit and it is that long-term stubbornness of commitment that helps you um, get to the fruits, helps you make uh, something substantial, right? And subtle guna or sukshma guna or ethereal things are not substantial and don't necessarily produce a fruit. Right? A person can have lots of false starts and go from thing to thing without ever really producing good fruit. Or a person could be easily influenced instead of carrying out their mission and purpose in a steadfast manner. Right? Well, these comfort foods are going to help settle the person down. Uh, so think about home-cooked meals made with love and heavy ingredients, stews of fresh veggies and potatoes, a chicken soup, something made by your grandma. I mean, every grandma's different, right? Uh, hearty foods tend to be uh, more substantial and grounding. Foods with a high calorie content that stick to your ribs. Think about a meat and potatoes diet. Stews, again, foods that build the body, that create satisfaction and dull the mind. Now, we don't want to actually dull the mind, right? What, but we do want to... Um, we don't want a dull comprehension, right? We don't want a dull understanding. And we don't necessarily even want a dull awareness. But, um, but we do want to slow down the movement of attention, right? They're, an overstimulated person is easily distracted and their attention can sort of fly in many directions at once, scattering them. And it's that thing that we want to settle down so that a person can focus. Any kind of food that helps you gain weight is going to pacify subtle quality, or sukshma guna. Uh, because when you have a little bit of weight, you, you are actually more substantial. So you feel more substantial. Uh, for my clients that uh, are very etheric and feel very etheric, um, they, I always recommend uh, that they gain a little bit of weight. You know, if they're underweight, I, I recommend they gain a little bit of weight because that's going to make them feel more relaxed, more substantial, a little more confident. Subtle guna is reduced by rich and oily foods. Think about a sweet, sticky rice pudding. That coating quality of, uh, of dairy in general um, is going to be soothing to mucous membranes and soothing to your tummy and that's going to um, make you feel more substantial. Think about buttery mashed potatoes or grilled cheese. My kids love that. Nut butters, sticky banana breads, bread pudding, right? Rice pudding is somewhat lighter even than bread pudding. Bread pudding is really substantial. Healthy carbohydrates, a sweet potato. You know, sweet potatoes are actually much lighter than regular potatoes. Uh, but potatoes, sweet potatoes, and beets are all uh, nice root veggies that help you get grounded. Fruits as well uh, can be, 
can go on either side. Some fruits are very light and, uh, and others are a little more grounding. Like a banana is more heavy and uh, other foods um, like a pear is a little bit more light than a banana. Both of them are sweet though. Think about animal products. Uh, meats are very grounding in general. They they're sort of define the gross quality. And I don't mean gross as in disgusting. Uh, we shouldn't take it that way. Uh, gross means more. In fact, I, I think we should change that word even in Ayurveda to manifest it. Uh, animal products are substantial. Meat like beef and pork is very substantial and can help you be more substantial. Fish. Uh, it's like oily salmon, eggs, and especially the egg yolk, bone broths and dairy products in general, all uh, are very substantial. Subtle guna is reduced by tamasic foods. Tamasic foods by their nature are foods which sort of dull the mind, as we mentioned earlier. Mushrooms, perfect in uh, autumn season when you're trying to get your mind to relax. Uh, garlic, cooked garlic, uh, is uh, grounding. Uh, raw garlic is very overstimulating. Uh, ojas building foods. Ojas building just means it, it helps you put on uh, weight. It helps increase substance. So ghee, dates, milk. All right, let's review. Uh, generally, dense, slow, dull, heavy, oily, uh, tamasic and ojas building foods and also sticky foods that form a coating uh, are, uh, and, and are soothing. Uh, foods with sweet taste like foods that have proteins, fats, and carbs. All of those are going to ground you and make you more substantial. I want to talk about two other uh, categories or qualities or characteristics that are grounding. That might be a little surprising to you. And the first is sour, sour taste. Now, sours are stimulating, but they help you focus. And that makes you feel more grounded and settled. In Chinese medicine, we say that sour grounds the shen, S-H-E-N, shen. And uh, that's the uh, part of your soul that resides in the heart, according to Chinese medicine. And I'm just going to invite you to notice how sour helps you focus and makes the eyes relax. And then I think you'll agree that uh, sours are grounding and can ground a person who's feeling really ethereal and in the clouds. Salt uh, has a similar effect, also bringing focus. Great. Let's talk about herbs uh, for making you more grounded.